One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Anyway, so let's get going here. So, so today, I, I mean, as pertinent as ever, I want to talk about position sizing. And this is, um, this has to do with, um, I mean, literally from trade to trade, like we're, I want to get into like how to position size during a scale. Um, I want to talk about just overall sizing up just so that like, I want to have this video, like, cause I, I did, I did mention it in one other prior webinar about scaling, but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth here. And I want to be able to point out like to anybody who asks, like, so someone can go say, Hey, go check out the position sizing webinar. Anyway. So, um, we're going to go over position sizing and scaling, you know, different ways to size into trades when you, um, you know, when you might not want to size into a trade, like ways to organize your sizing for different setups. So we'll go over all of that stuff, uh, later on in the webinar. I had a couple, I had a question today from a member who asked like, Hey, like I see that you track the sentiment. How, how can I track the sentiment? Right. And that's a good thing for yourself. There's a whole lot of measures that you can use. Some of the measures I use is number of reclaimers. You know, I use number of reclaimers. I use number of faders. You know, I try to just keep track of what's, you know, what's going on. How many just died out of the open? Like how, how many pre-market stocks are holding up um, all the way um, to the open? Like these are all, you know, market sentiment indicators that will kind of tip you off. Anyway, um, the action has been super volatile, right? And one thing that you'll notice, uh, even if you go through your charts today, uh, we're seeing a lot of consolidation. And consolidation is basically, in my opinion, that like the way I view consolidation, that's just a stock determining which direction it's going to go. That means that it's a cool off from what it, whatever it just did. It could have just tanked and then consolidated or spiked and consolidated. Whenever you see a consolidation, it's normally the stock deciding what to do. That's, I mean, in simplest terms. And so you're seeing longs win that battle a lot more often, right? That's probably another indicator if you wanted to start tracking the market sentiment by yourself. Count the number of consolidations and see, and see how many shorts win versus, or bulls win versus bears. You don't know if they're shorts or sells. But you just see how many, you know, how many bulls versus how many bears win, right? And so, uh, yeah, that was my very first video ever, Joe. High steady volume consolidation. Anyway, um, but yeah, you're, you're seeing that longs are basically just waiting for the opportunity to jump on these consolidation breaks. Like you, you've seen, we've seen this a lot, like, and it started with ABVO. Like let's, let's look at what I'm talking about right here, just so we can get into it. Like what was, what was Wednesday? That would have been the fourth. Yeah. So it would have been here. So it started, it started with this, right? This is what started it all. Um, we got this big squeeze on APVO. And I guess like this is, this is, you know, this doesn't really have any, but like even, even here, like a consolidation and longs win. And then what's the next day? Are right, you just seeing a lot of these consolidations, the longs are just, just winning on them, right? This is kind of a consolidation and it breaks up. That's a, cons that's a consolidation and it breaks up. You know, you're seeing a lot of this, this one failed, but it's higher. And and it, and it reclaims like longs are basically looking for these consolidations to, to, um, to jump on. And you're seeing that, and that's just on APVO, same thing on ALTM on ONCT, right? Like ONCT. Yeah. Like consolidation bounce, right? Like you're just seeing a lot of this stuff, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop. Right. And so that, that's a sign that longs are basically just winning. And so, and I'll get into the, uh, I'll, I'll get into that too. And so, um, I, I thought about doing a webinar on, on recognizing the, the pre changes and I don't like, I'll get into that in another webinar, but there was definitely some signs like DSS last time that I think I mentioned where you can start to see a couple of hints. The market will give you hints of this, like in the middle of a dead market, you might get like one runner. And that's like, that's almost like the opposite of what a blood in the water crack is. That's almost like, you know, a, you know, it's like a breach in the, you know, it, it's like, you know, a noise in, in the silence, you know, and that's kind of like that hint. And I'll go over that in more detail, but we definitely had hints that this was coming around the week, around the corner, as far as sentiment is concerned. But yeah, you're seeing these longs jump on 
um, after these quiet consolidations. Um, the, if you're a short, the only stocks that you can be comfortable on are the stocks that are not just broken, but beyond broken. Like normally if a stock in a bull market, if a stock tanks, that doesn't mean it's dead. Especially, especially if it's like still above a key level, like it could have just slammed VWAP. If it's above lower day, don't count it out yet. You know, it could have just breached the death line even. It breaches the death line. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. And like holds under like really, really high under, you still have to be careful of that. The, the only stocks that you can be truly careful on are the ones that are beyond broken. Like, and I'm talking about it breached death line and then tanked again for good measure, right? Those are the stocks that you can kind of consider dead. And those are the ones that like, if you're a short, need to be your, your highlight focus right now. Like you do not want to be even trying to catch these tops, not even close. Um, anyway, the patterns that we've been seeing, I mean, literally reclaim city. I mean, this is, and it's funny. I haven't even got any yet. That is my favorite setup, but like, it's literally just reclaim city. Longs have been jumping, um, on, on these opportunities because the teamwork is there. Right. And that's, that's the reason why, um, the, the bull market is really strong at the beginning and it tends to wane is because I mean, right when it happens, longs all like are basically looking to get in on the action and all the longs are together, everybody's buying. And, the, and that's why, like, when they, when they rip, I mean, they rip without looking back. Like, they don't, like, they don't do this bullshit, like, uh, VWAP hesitation, right? This, because that's what shorts bank on. If you're a short seller and it goes up to VWAP, I know what every single one of you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking that as it goes up to VWAP, all right, I'm going to let it test view up. It's going to test blah, blah, blah. That's what you are conditioned into doing. And this is how, if you took a big loss today, th this is how you took this loss. I, I'm, I'm just taking a guess, but this is how it happened. Is that it, a stock went up to view up and you're expecting that normal test, that normal hesitation, that normal battle at view up. But here's the thing. When you're in a bull market, every single long, it's just, it's over view up. I'm like, we're all buying right now. Because this is, I mean, it might be our only opportunity. And as a short seller, if you're waiting for that fight to decide on whether or not you're going to be out, that hesitation that, oh, like, should I cut it? Like, should, you're gone. Like, you're, you're totally gone. Like, the stock, I, what I mean by not looking back is that, like, it's something like this. Um, uh, what was the, what was the rip today? Uh, like, was it on ALTM? I know I'm, it, it, it's something like this. Uh, there was a little fight there. That's not much, but it's something like that, you know, or let me see a PBO. There was one where it just like one shot it up. I think maybe it was the first one. You know, it's stuff like this where it just rips through like VWAP. You expect a little test here and the entire candle surges through and doesn't even look back. It, it happened on this one too, I think. No, the first one, first one, it didn't happen on, but Maybe it was on ONCT too. I think there was one like that on ONCT. Please, why is that so zoomed in? Yeah, it's stuff like this. You know, it just doesn't look back. Like there's none of that like back under crap. It's just straight through. You know, even that one, straight through. No, no looking, no looking back at all. And so anyway, that's that's the kind of stuff that you're seeing, right? It's because the teamwork is there and longs are just so like there is not like easily overpowering any kind of shorts that are waiting and then they just squeeze higher. So this is the kind of market that I warned of last week that like if you're a short and you're used to shorting lows and then getting kind of bailed out on the VWAP fails, that's the bad habits that you're forming. And this is literally your bad habits that like you're paying for them. And so that's why you ha you can't uh, adjust too much. Like when, when everything's fading, you can't just move so low down like you can you can like chase a little bit but you still have to keep that that system that process of shorting the pops in you know intact otherwise you're going to get run over whenever this happens um onct nice yeah oh god damn sorry i didn't see that but like 
I thought that was a long, but yeah, it just so fast. Anyway, obviously, uh, reclaims are doing really well. Dip and rips are all the longs. First bounces. There's literally like a first bounce on every single move. The bids are definitely being protected. People are looking to buy the dip. And that's as a long, you have so much help. Like, and so, oh, that's what I was going to say. I finally remembered it. So yeah, as a long in this market, you really learn how easy it is to make money in this market. And so as a long, you need to be looking at this market and being like, this is the market that I want to trade all the time. But here's the thing, you're not gonna get this market all the time. So as a long, this is a good opportunity to learn what it's like when the market is on your side versus when it's not on your side versus when it's kind of in the middle. This is when it's definitely on your side. And literally, it's like you don't even have to do anything. It's like if you just buy a dip, like the, the, the stock will eventually get over your price. Like, you know, even if it's a high dip and you bought too high, you'll still probably make some money on the trade. And like I said, like you can, as a long, you can build bad habits too. Like, so this is a warning to the longs. You know, like, you know, you can slip up, a not slip, you can adjust your process a little bit and be a little bit more aggressive here. But don't, I mean, when the market changes back again and you don't want to get caught like buying those high dips and just like, and waiting for it to come back because there will come a time where they will not come back up. So as a long, you know, enjoy this market while it's here, you know, but don't, you know, you guys now, it's your turn not to, not to get too comfortable, right? Like take, adva take advantage of it while you can, but be careful about slipping into chasing habits. Yeah, like, like Kilo said, bend the mold, don't break it. Right on guys. Yeah, any, any questions, anytime. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.